This video illustrates the steps required to install a non-penetrating mount with concrete blocks using an extended mount and assumes you have already selected your best mounting option and location. First, place an approved protective rubber mat where the frame will be placed to protect the supporting surface from damage. Next, place the non-pen frame so it is centered on the mat and completely covered. If the low pro mount is approved for non-pen use in your area, the bore site of the ODU must be in line with the center of the non-pen. Note that the four pre-threaded outside holes in the non-pen frame are used for mounting the DirecTV standard footplate. Bolt holes used for mounting the forward-facing monopole are located here. Bolt the mass footplate to the frame using four of the 5 16 by 3 quarter inch bolts, grade 5, and lock washers using a half-inch wrench or half-inch socket and ratchet, making sure they are fully tightened. Using the standard and extended mount, two long monopoles are required, one forward-facing monopole and one side-facing monopole. The first step is to make sure the pipe clamps are loose enough so they will slide over the mast. Next, slide the clamp of the forward-facing monopole over the mast, followed by the side-facing monopole. The bottom forward-facing monopole footplate can now be attached to the non-pen frame by installing 5 16 by 3 quarter inch bolts and lock washers through the footplate into the pre-threaded holes until they are snug, not fully tightened. Next, remove the footplate of the side-facing monopole and attach the angle bracket to the end of the monopole using a 5 16 by 3 quarter inch bolt, flat washer, and flange nut. The top side-facing monopole footplate can now be attached to the side of the non-pen frame using the remaining 5 16 by 3 quarter inch bolt and remaining flat washer and flange nut. Then tighten until they are snug, not fully tightened. Tighten both monopole clamps just above the bend of the mast until they are snug, not fully tightened. Place the ballast in the frame. Now level the mast. When using the bubble level inside of the mast, it must be removed and reseated to ensure it will provide an accurate reading. Fully tighten all four of the mast lockdown bolts. Fully tighten the clamp bolts for both monopoles. Please note that the center monopole clamp must be tightened last. If you tighten them before the ends of the monopoles, then the mast will be pulled out of plumb, while their center clamps will be pulled loose when you tighten the monopole mast clamps. Instead, tighten the lockdown bolts on both monopole foot plates using either a half inch wrench or half inch ratchet and socket. Tighten the center clamp bolts on both monopoles. Finally, double check that the mast is still plumb. For more information, search the dock keyword ODU mounting.